What is up, my squirtle lights? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Poke Park 2. In the last episode, we finished up making friends with just about everybody that we can here in the train yard. And the warehouse is now open to us. It's time. Let's finally head on inside. This is the technically the last area in the tech area, but not entirely. There's There's a little bit more to this area than we are going to be seeing today. But we're going to get the gist of... Pretty much this entire, the entire warehouse in this episode. Welcome to the inner warehouse. Wait, now I'll read your minds. Uh, hmm, you're looking for something, am I right? That's right, you're amazing. Wow, so <laughs> looking for something, that's incredible. What a guess. Does that mean you know what we're looking for? Um, true love, maybe? We'll look for that somewhere else. We're looking for the Scientorium. We've heard it's in this warehouse. Oh, really? Truth is, I can't read minds one little bit. I usually get the first one right, so I thought I'd give it a try. The Sciatorium is, is just through the passage on the second floor. All the way up there, huh? Well, okay. I will definitely have to make my way over there, but there's a lot of things I got to get on the way there first. A lot of Pokemon to talk to. A lot of items to grab. And Joltek! Look at a little cute little Joltek. So glad you didn't step on me. Good job finding me. You pay attention to details, so I have a request for you. Please go find my brothers and tell them to come back. We all like to cling to someone else. So please look at other Pokemon very carefully. Okay, I will do that. Uh, I'm wondering if... Um, uh, Freaking Electivires makes a ton of sense in this situation. In fact, I think I saw it. Here, I'm going to run into you. Sorry. There we go. Hey, what's your problem? Uh, sorry. Oh, we're immediately fighting. Okay. Well, sorry. I was just trying to get the Joltik off of you, but all right. We're going to be doing this thing, I guess. Here we go. Probably not the most ideal Pokemon to be using in this scenario. Okay. Got to watch out for that attack. Back up. Back up. Whoa, that was close. Here, do it again. Okay. Wait for three shocks to come out and then go in. Combo. There we go. And then I will also hit you with a Leaf Storm just to kind of add to it. Two, three. All right, go in. Beautiful. And then, I mean, it's not that it's going to do a whole lot of damage, but why don't we just throw a Leaf Tornado in there? Oh, that was actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Well, I can definitely finish this off with a Leaf Storm. And there we go. Down goes Electivire. Very, very simple there, I'd say. Now, what about that Joltik? It's got to be around here somewhere. Attacking me off guard like that is not fair, but the battle just now was fun. Could you be the famous Leafy Gatherers? No wonder the battle was challenging. Battle me again. Wait, so our nickname must have changed all of a sudden because we were the Pika Pals for a while, but now we're the Leafy Gatherers. I don't really know how that works. Where did that Joltik run off to? There's that one over there. Um, It's around here somewhere. Is it on you, Garbodor? Possibly? Let's take a look. I don't see it. I don't know where it ran off to. Your back feels lighter. Yeah, I imagine it does. There you are. I was wondering where you went. Hmm, what? Going home? But it's fun to cling to someone because I can see different things. But you came a long way, so I should probably go back and show my face. I'm back. Thank you, Snivy. Some of my many brothers have gone to other areas to play. I wanted to tell that to my brothers in this area, too. And now we've befriended Joltix. So, yeah, there's a lot more Joltix that are now going to spawn in other previous areas that we've been to. You can go after them if you would like. It's not... I don't think it's necessarily required because, obviously, we've already made friends with Joltix, but it is a thing to do. But now Galvantula's here, and gosh, I love Galvantula. It's such a freaking great Pokemon. Let's use Tepig to talk to it. Because I, well, it is the only thing that has a type advantage here. Thanks for helping, Joltik. You're a good one. I'll take care of you. How about a battle? I love Galvantula. I just, I don't know why I am in love with its design so much. It's just so freaking great. There's a reason I was using it in the Let's Play. All right, here we go. Whoa, that was close. Can we hit you with this? And then, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, you got me. Holy crap. Got me with the spider web. Okay, watch out, Tepig. Let's try to hit you with the flamethrower here if I can charge it. There we go. Ooh, that's some damage right there. Watch out. Get him with the combo. Oh, you're too slow, Tepig. We, okay, we're going to try a heat. I am getting sunlocked. I'm actually getting sunlocked. All right, heat crash time. There we go. Golly, the, it shoots out those spider webs so frequently. It was actually very hard to get away from that. I was planning to take care of you, but I was taking care of it. It was fun. See ya. And Galvantula is now our friend, which is awesome. So we still have to go talk to uh, Garbodor, so let's go do that and not run Joltik over because I'd feel really terrible about that. Oh, there, there, there is actually a Joltik on you. 
Let's go say hi. And you're not going to pick a fight with me for doing that. Wait, oh, so was that... I thought there was... So there's three in here? I'm not actually sure. You're going to re-stick to Garbodor, aren't you? Leafy Gatherers, are you strong? Battle with me. Sure. We'll use Tepic for this as well. Not that it's really going to matter either way. Hopefully I can actually get my combos off this time. It's going close. And around. Here comes that. All right. Hit him with the combo. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And then can we get another one in there? Oh, no, that was a little too fast. All right, let's get a flamethrower going. Oh, yep, see that short range, man. I don't like that about that move at all. Come on. I like that we're jumping right over the swipe, though. That's working out great. And now, heat crash. Beautiful. And there goes Garbodor. Didn't even take a hit. Good job, Tepic. This is why I said Tepic is actually a pretty darn good battler. I still prefer Oshawott, but yeah, Tepic's pretty, pretty awesome. Really strong. It's nice to be strong. Be my friend. And we have added Garbodor to the list. Such a strange Pokemon. And now, ooh, Magmortar is here. Okay, I imagine you're going to want to battle as well, but we are definitely going to be making a switch for you. So let's go on over to Oshawott for exactly that reason. And let's go track Magmortar down. And ooh, what do we got here for items? There's actually a lot of items here in the warehouse, which makes sense. It's a warehouse. There should be things that should be stored in here. I understand it, but a lot of them can actually be really annoying to get to. All right, you want to battle? Yes. Let's do it. And I think this is the last Pokemon here on the main floor, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but there are more Pokemon around the warehouse, so let's just avoid him and hit him with the water gun. All right, come here. Do it again. Oh, yeah, you're, you're, you know, he doesn't really have, like, a radius of attack that's all that difficult. Well, you know what? I'm just screwed. I'm just going to use another Razor Shell here. Why would I not in this situation if it's going to two-shot the guy? Jeez, Oshawott, you're overpowered. I love it. It's not going to last, though. It's not going to last forever. Dodge my moves. You're something. I'll be your friend. That was the easiest move in the world to dodge, Magmortar. You literally shot in a straight line, like, never deviating whatsoever. Like, come on, bro. I know you're better than that. All right, so I'm going to head on over this way because if we can jump up over these boxes, and I actually think I need, yep, I need to switch back to Tepig. There's a little secret area back here. And we're going to want to heat crash through this. So hop up on that. And there we go. And we're going to be heading down into the sewer where we have, uh, I, oh, I need, let me switch Pokemon. I can't get across that as Tepig. Are you kidding me? I need to switch to Osh, not Pikachu. Gosh, dang it. Sorry, little buddy. We're not using you right now. I know you're like the most neglected partner out of the three, but you also are just the one that has the least versatility. So, Dusko left the mansion where I used to live and have been traveling around. I feel a nostalgic atmosphere in the back of the warehouse. Will you battle with me to end my boredom? Yes. All right. And actually, I think I lied. There is actually another Pokemon that appears up above somewhere, but it's not where you think it's going to be, actually. Uh, that was an interesting move there. There we go. And then let's just follow this up with a razor shell as soon as it gets up. And there we go. Super simple. I also want to get whatever the heck is in this chest here. I lost. I guess I should find another way to end my boredom. I appreciate your company. And I appreciate your one oscillating eye. So yes, Dust Noir has also come to play. And no, he is not actually in the main area. He's actually up above. So we'll get to him here soon. But let's open up this chest first. And we got Aroma Candles. I actually needed those because I ended up, I, I believe I was supposed to give those to Mana. And uh, yeah, I ended up spending the two I had. But I think 10 is exactly all she needed. So that's good. Um, it's going to come in handy a bit later as well. Once we backtrack there. But let's get on out of here. And then we're going to take Oshawott up over the crates again. And actually, I'm, oh, that's, oh, I forgot about Sneasel. How could I forget about Sneasel? Goodness, I, I saw it running around, and I didn't even realize that I hadn't talked to it yet. Hey, come here. Sneasel. Sneasel. Stop moving. There we go. So I'm going to find something interesting, but there's nothing here except me with a battle. Like, everyone in here wants to battle. There's, like, no chase whatsoever. Not that I'm complaining, because this is not a very good place for it, but still. This, this is just a little bit too claustrophobic of an area. And there we go. Wow, a single combo took Sneasel out. I mean, I sort of get it, but that's still impressive. And Sneasel thinks it's impressive too. All right, cool. 
now. I'm at, okay, actually, I want to... Oh, and Gengar's here. Oh, man, there's a lot more Pokemon in here than I remember there being. Gosh. Okay, actually, I do think Gengar wants to play a game of Chase, not Battle. And so let's switch on over to Snivy here. And it, in, I kind of want to use Snivy up top anyway. Oop, my bad. Gengar, I didn't mean to do that. Apologies. Came here because I heard some rowdy Pokemon running wild. You play Chase with me. Okay, so I stand corrected. There is one who's willing to do it. Now, Gengar is fast, but we should be faster. So, oh, oh or we could get hit immediately by the Shadow Ball. Ah, uh, sorry, Electivire, you're in my way. Come on, go around that. Whoa, that thing homes in on you good. Okay, let's 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 try to cycle around here. Okay, I need to get going. Oh, I did not mean to hold the freaking button down. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Cut him off of the pass. I mean, Gengar's pretty quick, but Snivy is just ridiculously stupidly fast. I never thought I'd be caught. I'll have to put a curse on you for that. Just kidding. Let's be friends. I mean, that's a... It's not a cool prank to say something like that, dude. Like, especially if I'm going to eventually die from it after four turns. That's just... I don't know. Honestly, I think that's cruel, but whatever. Okay, we're going to hit this thing. And this is actually going to start rotating a lot of the scaffolds up here to where we need them to be. Now, I'm going to go across that one in a second. But first, I'm actually going to backtrack to here and make my way across. I hate going across these things, though, just because of the way that this game controls. It's very obnoxious. No, turn the camera. There we go. Yeah, just it's so precarious. It doesn't seem precarious because the platforms are so wide. But because of the way that the characters control in this game, you need such a wide berth and everything. And ugh, ugh, it makes me feel uneasy. Um, oh, gosh, come on. Let's uh, hit this one now. I, no, I want to tackle it. Gosh, thank you. And that should spin the next one. I think there is maybe one more switch we have to hit in here, but I, I can't. I think it's on the other side of those crates. But before we go that way, let's go on up over these crates. Because actually, if we head over here, I believe there's another a vast white quill that we can get. So let's head on up here. Very carefully, I might add. Grab that. I know there's a vast white quill down there as well. I'll get that later. Just because I don't want to have to come all the way back up here. Or I could just fall immediately. Okay, that was annoying. I mean, I guess I kind of had to fall. Well, I didn't have to. I could have gone over the crates uh, to get over to this switch. But eh, it works out, I suppose. In the end, what the? Tackle. Thank you. And that should move the very last one into place where we need it. And we can actually get to the upper level. But there are some things to be had around here. And also we need to make this jump here we go i mean i think all these jumps can be made with the regular crew but uh snivy just makes it a little bit easier i'm gonna head on over this direction i'm gonna go up over these i think is this the only thing over here okay it is okay never mind i'm gonna go back the other way grab the vast white quill up here first then we'll go down that direction because i have to drop down anyway i have to drop down two more times to get to all of the items up here Oh, this part. Oh, I don't like this part. Okay, 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 okay. Here's how this is going to work. We want to jump just carefully onto the I-beam. Turn the camera until it lets us point in a straight line. Oh my gosh, come on. No. Snivy. Oh, this is not working out. This is not working out. Don't be... Ugh. Okay. No. Oh, gosh dang it. Ugh. Okay, come on. Get carefully now, carefully. Oh my gosh! It, can I just get the camera to rotate? Not that far. Uh, oh, almost, almost. No, nope, little overshoot it. Come on, I, I gotta line this up. It's so hard to do. If this game, man, if it had a control stick functionality instead of having to use the D-pad, it would be so much better. Thank goodness I made it across. All right, give me this freaking vast white quill, and then I'm gonna. Basically, just wing it trying to get back across. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Whatever. Here we go. Whoa! Not like that. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> I mean, it really is. It really is the only issue that this game has. Is I mean, major issue is that you can't just... You don't have omnidirectional control. You are forced to go in four directions. It really makes everything about this game much more difficult than it needs to be. But we got ourselves a chest. There's 500 berries in there, which I will happily take. And now we can hop down. Let's go grab this last vast white quill. And then we're going to call this one an episode, guys. So thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Poke Park 2 very, very much. In the next episode, we're going to explore the last uh, couple sections here of the Unaware House. And then we're going to meet up with a couple of characters and try to get into the Scientorium once and for all. So thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all then.